So the last time you guys seen this KX80, you might remember it had a list of problems. One of them, including a windowed piston. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be reassembling the engine on the KX80. We're gonna be putting it all back together, getting the engine back in the frame, and hearing this thing fire up for the first time. Hopefully, if we do everything right, we should have a nice run-in little two-stroke KX80. So stick around, guys. Let's see what we can do for this here KX80. So we've got all our cases cleaned up, all our engine components cleaned up. The first step we're actually going to be wanting to do is knocking out all these seals because we got a full seal and gasket kit from Vertex going in. So I'm going to pop all these seals out, get this whole engine resealed, and then we'll start assembling this bottom end. So we've got our cases sealed up. Next step is we're gonna be installing our crankshaft. Crankshaft is in. Nice, so just put those shift forks in wrong. If you caught that, you got a keen eye. All right, that makes a little bit more sense. Now we can put the shift drum in. I am missing a seal right there. No, I'm not. Also, that mangled up snap ring, this is that mangled up uh, snap ring that was in that bottom end. Don't know where that came from, but it was in there. I found where that goes. The actual uh, crank sprocket was missing. E, not good. So if you guys watched the first episode of this KX80 build, you may remember that the cylinder actually had piston transfer in it. That's when the piston melts to the cylinder because of heat, lean, whatever condition it is. If you guys are interested how I got this off, I actually made a separate video on removing piston transfer. I'll put it up in the top right of the screen right now. You guys can go and check that out. If you're ever in a situation you need to easily and cheaply remove the piston transfer from your cylinder, go ahead and check that video out. I didn't put it in this video because I made a separate video just on that. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out that video. Sure you guys remember the old shifter? 
was welded on, so we're gonna go ahead and put this little outlaw racing one on. That is one completely built two-stroke engine for the KX80. Now, let's go ahead and pop it into the frame. So we've got gas, we've got coolant, everything's hooked up. The only thing we don't have is the air intake boot, so it's not gonna be rolled too much. The customer actually already has that at home. So, if you guys remember the last first start video after a rebuild on that YZ125, you might know that it didn't go that well. So the throttle's stuck wide open. So I'm a little nervous. We've got the rear brake hooked up. That's uh, thanks to legendary Kincaid. He left a comment on my last video telling me I should probably do that. So I've got the kill switch, got the rear brake, and some other things. Thank you to everyone that commented on the YZ video and uh, let me know what I should do because that was scary. Let's guess the amount of kicks this takes. We're gonna go no choke. We're doing it right on the lift. Put that down. So let's see. Throttle is not stuck, so I'll do one cycle. Okay. Let's go ahead and try it with the choke. See what we get. Just took for a quick ride down the street to see how she's running, and she's running absolutely great. The trans is a little finicky. I think there possibly could be a, a bent shift fork. Sometimes first to second is kind of hard to engage, but she's running absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's a screamer. We've got absolutely zero leaks. It should be all ready to go back to the customer. I don't want to run it too long because we are running a little bit lean, and we are missing that intake boot, but the Cowie is absolutely ripping. But as you can see, she'll just sit here and purr. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little KX80 get revived up and running and seeing the problems. Now, if you guys are just new here and you didn't see part one on the KX80, I'll link it right here. And also, if you guys are curious, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, if you guys are curious on how to remove the melted piston or piston transfer from the cylinder, check out this video here where I show you how to do that. Thank you guys for watching.